my lord. <laughs> we are very pleased to hear it. These so two are so good. <laughs> oh my god. Rise and grind, gamers. It's Monday, and it's time to learn and love with the Philips CDI. For real this time. Uh, no, no disasters are going to happen. No sudden shutoff. No power strip shenanigans. No nothing. There is not a drop of any liquid near the computer or crucial components at this time. Right, Alex? Hey, I got one cup, and you want to hear this? That's the sound of a lid, baby. <laughs> New lid technology will keep the RetroPal <laughs> safe and streaming for the next two hours. That's a guarantee. That's a RetroPal's guarantee. Uh, real quick, thank you, Krongling, for the 32-month resub. Do appreciate that. And thank you, uh, Snubblebear, 42-month resub. Whoa, oh, my God. 42? What the uh, shit? They reply with at least one. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one. Twenty-one Joker Og is a new, a new record. Thank and then you, they Snubble. ran out of a message field, which happened. Listen, I, I always use a sippy cup for my coffee because I'm a big boy. Man, last week's stream is really throwing me off. It took me a while to archive last week's streams, and I'm all like, why didn't I archive this one? It's, why is it five minutes long? Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> right. The best five minutes that have ever been crammed into a RetroPal stream. Watch it now before it gets deleted. Contains oh, up to one joke. <laughs> that one joke is me spilling. It was a pretty good one, though. If we're going to go out, we might as well do that. All right. Okay. Today, we have a Philips CDI grab bag. Uh, things never go wrong when this happens, mm -hmm. ever. And in a good portent of things to come, the Good Faces Twitter account posted the stroke limit image an hour before the scheduled stream. It's a sign. I don't know what it's a sign of, but I have been signaled, and I'm here to uh, obey. Danny is activated. Whatever you did, it at, it worked. So today we're going to focus a little bit on CDI storybook software. These are games and activity centers and stories about ancient lore, the things that uh, they didn't tell you in school that you got to find out on your own. <laughs> oh, I see. And on today's freshly minted Nothing Go Wrong stream, we are going to start with the Emperor's New Clothes. Hey, hey, D Danny, Danny. Danny, I actually... I, I actually, hear he has a very fine set of clothing, so fine that it can barely be perceived by the human eye. Hey, hey, I, D Danny, Danny, I, I have, I, I actually did learn about this in school, and... Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. Um, got a question. Um, Save all questions until okay. after the performance, please. Hold I'm on. sure there will be a and a section at the end of this disc. Rabbit ears. Okay, good. We're good. Storybook Adventures. Oh. I have this on original disc. This is <laughs> not a CDR. Whoa, that <laughs> wizard bookmark. <laughs> He's real. Hello, and welcome to the Enchanted Forest. Are you ready to go on a storybook adventure with me? Bro, put some shoes on. Listen closely and follow the star from my magic robe. It's nothing on under that robe. When the star is over the book. I don't know why I pronounced it nothing. <laughs> you can see the story. When the star is over the jack in the box and you press a button, you can play the games. When the star is over the hand and you press a button, you will leave the disc. You can move the star anywhere right, you want. Time like. to move over that and hand. Remember, if you see the story first, mm -hmm. it will help you play the games. Have fun! All right, have fun, says our new friend. Holy shit. <laughs> this is fucking music! This is majestic. I am entering the kingly quarters to experience the story of the Emperor's New Clothes. Games. Well. Bye bye. Games. Bye bye. Games. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Story. To stop the story, press a button and I will help you. I did. <laughs> what the fuck is this? The 
Emperor's New Clothes. Oh, okay. By Hans Christian Andersen. <laughs> John I... Gilgood? Wow, cool. Who's John Gilgood? Alex. Anyone, anyone want to fill in Alex? I bet you don't know who Robert Van Nutt is either. <laughs> I don't know who Robert Van Nutt is. <laughs> wow, he directed it too. He's a real Damn. journeyman, this nut. This is Robert Van Nutt's greatest work. Bob Van Nutt. I'm crying. Many, many years ago, mm -hmm. there lived an emperor. I didn't even know I was doing a John Feelgood uh, impression earlier, but I was right on the money. Feel good. Mm. No, I, I said feel good. That works too. There's a goat! He was so hopelessly in love with beautiful new clothes that he spent all of his money on them. He took no interest whatever in the theater. He did not trouble himself in the least about his soldiers. He didn't care about theater? Fuck off! Nor did he care to go either hunting or riding in the park. Unless, of course, it gave him the opportunity to show off his new clothes. He only cared for gaming. Oh, this guy is the original hype beast. I love him. See his LED keyboard and mouse combo. He had different garments for each hour of the day. And just as in most countries, one might safely assume that the king would be in his throne room or in his council chamber, it was always said of this monarch, the emperor is in his dressing room. This guy's voice has texture. I like it. Mm -hmm. And rub your fingers over it. That's right, Smub. We're moving on from gamer chairs to gamer thrones. <laughs> nice. I want to see this guy's sneaker collection. Life was jolly in the large town where the emperor held court, and each day hosts of new visitors would arrive. I feel like a king myself with this background One music. One day, two rogues, calling themselves weavers, requested an audience with the emperor. No, oh, they're actually rogues. They claimed to be able to weave the most beautiful cloth imaginable. Look at that They thing. said that not only were the colors oh, and patterns them. of their cloth exceptionally beautiful, it's me and any Alex. clothing made from this material <laughs> possessed the curious quality of being completely invisible to anyone who was either undeserving of his position <laughs> We're always giving each other that look during streams. <laughs> like, did the Elgato really <laughs> fuck up again? Be splendid clothes, thought the Emperor. If I had clothes made from that material... I'd be able to tell yes, they are medieval Eddie and Dizzy. What I fit for <laughs> I would even be able to distinguish the wise men from the fools. Oh, yes. I must certainly order some of that material to be woven for me at once. Oh, yes. And the emperor gave the two weavers a great deal of money in advance so that they could begin their work immediately. Oh, he paid up front. That's a good contract. <laughs> I gotta say. You still have to file under self-employment. <laughs> They set up two looms and began busily weaving away. But in truth, there was nothing whatsoever on their shuttles. Maybe we just can't see it. They asked for the finest <laughs> they spent all night smoking. gold and silver thread, but hid every <laughs> this is way too accurate. Away in their own bags while they pretended to be working late into the night <laughs> on the Imperial clock. All me and Alex do is count our money and smoke every night. Hey, I love these, these two. <laughs> These two rock. Our heroes. Before long, everyone in the town. What's their crime? The Grifting a, a conceited rich guy? Like, come Each on. Person was quite anxious. Technically doing that right now. <laughs> oh wait, Jeff Bezos is out. Oh damn it! I wanted to weave in some new clothes. <laughs> the emperor was anxious as well. I should like to know how those weavers are progressing with my cloth. He thought, but immediately became uneasy when he remembered that anyone who was dull-witted or unfit for his office would be unable to see it. To be sure, he thought, I have no need to be concerned for my own imperial self. It's quite rosy cheek. He is! He oh my god! Else the cherubic first, king. <laughs> just to see how things were progressing, you understand. Uh, I shall send my faithful old minister to the weavers, thought the emperor. 
He will be best able to judge the material, <laughs> for he is a wise man. Yeah, he looks real sure of himself. no one is better fit for his <laughs> That's me when I'm asked to go outside. Me when I've been smoking all night and asked to produce the garment I've been weaving. <laughs> so the trusted old minister stepped into the room where the weavers were busily working. But when he turned his gaze to the looms, a very troubled expression came over his face. <laughs> preserve me, so the many good faces. Opening his eyes as wide as possible. <laughs> the weavers bade the distressed official to step a bit closer and asked if he did not admire the exquisite pattern and beautiful coloring. Please step closer. <laughs> And the poor old minister opened his eyes even wider. He looked and looked, but he could see nothing. But of course, there was nothing to see. Well, my lord minister. Rowan Atkinson is Blackadder? Oh my god! Oh my god, it is! Oh yes! It is very beautiful. That was dead on. Most admirable <laughs> indeed, proclaimed the old minister. Such a pattern, and the colors, remarkable. I shall certainly tell the Emperor oh, that I am God. well pleased These faces. I have a cunning Thank plan. You, my Lord <laughs> we are very pleased to hear it. These so two are so good. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, they're so good. They then proceeded to describe wonderful colors. And really, the only reason we do this stream is for the sake of the good faces, bot. Mm -hmm. they even we swear so fealty to you, my Lord. What they said was a complicated fish motif in the border. The old minister listened very carefully to everything the weavers had to say so that he would be able to describe the cloth to the emperor. <laughs> the knaves then asked for more... I'm sorry, just the thread, describing a complicated fish motif is really to funny to me. I'm gunner. sorry. Yeah. What I actually really, really like this. What was to hide all that was given to them in their own bags <laughs> and continue working away with as much activity as before. I'm dying. Looms. This disc is such a bounty. Holy shit. This game. They are the human embodiments of gay rats, yes. Oh. Gay rats have assumed human form and are tricking the emperor. Oh, I love this. Like, you're, you're saying that you wouldn't trick rich, famous people into looking like idiots for a lot of money. I would. I yeah. do it every day. Uh-huh. Thank you, Crush Gal. Twenty five bits. Crush Gal says Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are gay. <laughs> True. Thank you. To see how the work was progressing, and to ask whether it would soon be finished. That shit ass fake horse. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the same thing happened to this gentleman. The way it zooms the in. Minister. He looked at the looms from all sides, but could see nothing at all but the empty frames. <laughs> this this rocks. Is it not a fine piece of work? <laughs> Does it not appear as beautiful to your excellency as it did to my lord the minister? Asked one of the weavers. The frightened official did his best to recall the old minister's description of the cloth. He feigned delight in the beautiful colors and the originality of the patterns. He even went so far as to express his particular admiration for the fish border motif. <laughs> Begging your excellency's pardon, but these are birds. The fish motif is over here. Birds! Pointing to another part of the loom. Oh, of course, of course, said the confused courtier. The, the, the utter magnificence of the cloth quite dazzled me. Your words of praise please us no end, your excellency, proclaimed the rogues, bowing and smiling all the while. Your imperial majesty, it is absolutely enchanting, exclaimed the official when he returned to the emperor. Really, one must see it for oneself. Words can hardly capture it. You know this art's really good. It is! <laughs> and it's CDI exclusive, it never going to be seen anywhere else. The imperial city was discussing the emperor's wonderful cloth. Maybe it's an adaptation of a book. I want to say that's it. Like, it's a children's illustrated novel that they just brought to life. There's so many different expressions, though, in similar pieces like this. Right. <laughs> Under bits from Tempest Snake, who says that smoking face was the face of someone who got absolutely twisted and woke up with exquisitely embroidered fish cloth. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. I think that's going to be my thumbnail for this episode. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> this 
rocks. I know some people are complaining about it, but y'all are wrong. This fucking rocks. This is actually the best game we've ever played. Look at it closely. If you don't realize it, perhaps you are the peasant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love this. Hey there, Angel. Watch the watch yeah. the positioning of your legs and stuff. Let's keep it let's keep it tasteful. It looks like they are keeping it tasteful. Oh, they're up there with them. <laughs> this is Finally, so the Emperor good. decided that he would like to see his costly cloth for himself while it was me watching the, the Super Bowl. You're right, Cambry Nero. This game is only fun to people who are good gamers. Exactly. And so with a large company of courtiers, among whom were the two trusted officials who had already praised the imaginary cloth, he went to inspect the work of the two clever weavers. Thank you, Ultimo, for the 32 months and the 32 cyber cities. Thank you. <laughs> the, approaching, the two rogues pretended to work harder than ever at the empty looms. Is it not magnificent, proclaimed the two trusted officials? If your majesty would only be so kind as to gaze upon it. Observe what a splendid design, what glorious colors. And How long are they going to build up to the naked the guy? Looms, like, yeah, they they're really building it up. Could see this magnificent piece of workmanship. The emperor's <laughs> face turned four distinct colors behind his frozen smile. Oh, yes. <laughs> How does it keep getting it better? Beautiful. It keeps it getting... A very, very beautiful. <laughs> it has our highest approval. As he said this, he this nodded rocks. his head approvingly while staring at the empty looms. This is For so on no good. count would he admit that he could not see what two of the officers of his court had praised so highly. The entire company that had come along stared at the looms as well and was rather quiet. But as soon as the Emperor had spoken, they too exclaimed over the excellent quality of the non-existent cloth. Oh, yes, yes, it is beautiful. It is very, very beautiful, they all exclaimed. Mm, yes, yes, yes. They then advised the Emperor to commission a suit of clothes to be made of this splendid material so that he might wear it in the great festival parade that would soon take place. <laughs> We are terribly pleased Aqu to see that His Majesty finds. Well, thank you for the raid, Aqua. She came in at the best time. Look at these faces, everyone. We think it is rather <laughs> special ourselves. Welcome, we everyone. This is CDI Storybook to Software. Us. What a time to come in. We thank you, Aqua. Disagreement heartily. Many good it faces. Standing, <sighs> stupendous. It is very, very stupendous. Exclaimed the courtiers, for everyone was equally delighted. The Emperor then awarded the two rascals an imperial decoration to wear and bestowed upon them the title of Gentlemen Weavers of the Imperial. Yes, Age. look at them, they're so... Oh, <laughs> you are too kind, Your Majesty, they said, shedding tears of joy. Very accurate, <laughs> we are the Gentlemen <laughs> Weavers of Twitch. We are, we're... <laughs> much too kind. Uh... <laughs> Only we weave streams. It's very time-consuming. Okay, so this is a uh, this is a real storybook. You can get it on. Uh... It's Philip CDI compatible. This is an actual disc I have. Mm -hmm. uh, CDI had a bunch of stuff like this. Set up the entire night before the grand festival. I'm enjoying it a lot. Place. They used no less than sixteen. Oh, originally part of a PBS series. Oh, so that everyone would. And you can watch this movie just as its own clothes. on Amazon streaming right now. So that's cool. Hey, they cross partnership. The mm -hmm. from the looms. Look at them. Watch me cut off my own finger. <laughs> they snipped elaborate patterns in the air with their scissors. What a and grin. Such faces. Without any thread. See, they finally announced. There's like the 50 Emperor's Twitch channels worth of emotes. Mm -hmm. People really want emotes from this too. I don't blame them. And now the emperor with his noblest courtiers came to receive the finished garments. The two rogues raised their hands in the air as though they were holding something for him to see. I see it. Do you? Here your oh, damn, yeah. Majesties Didn't know the CDI could do this many colors. Without a more a effect either. It's really interesting. The and the fish motif. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. He's as light as a spider's web. 
One might fancy one were wearing nothing at all, but that is precisely the beauty of it. <laughs> nothing at all. <laughs> These How grifters true, rock. And the courtiers. How very, very true. If your imperial majesty would be so kind as to remove your clothes, we will dress you in the new suit here in front of the looking glass. Oh, no, <laughs> they're perverts. These guys are perverts. <laughs> he never removed all his clothes, and the weavers pretended oh, to Oh, this was their plan all along. Oh, I such... feel bad about supporting this now. Finally, they pretended to fasten his long trailing mantle about <laughs> his shoulders. So then one of the weavers put his hand to his mouth and looked quite troubled. He whispered something into the ear of the other weaver, and soon he too looked terribly troubled. Would your majesty be so kind as to stand quite still? One of them asked very gravely. It's John Gilgood doing a John Gilgood impression. Neglected <laughs> to trim off a certain thread. They began circling round. There it the is. Very carefully, <laughs> as they were sneaking up on a rabbit. Then one of them suddenly lunged in, and much to the consternation of the emperor, snipped his scissors with a great flourish. Got it, he exclaimed. <laughs> oh, oh, your majesty, does look magnificent. This is killing yes. me. Yes. It's uh, rock. Uh, ma magnificent. Oh, 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 someone hold me. Whoa, from, hey, I hey, buddy. I shall faint from sheer ecstasy. Whoa. Yikes. The emperor stood in front of the mirror, staring at his naked reflection. Oh, how wonderful his majesty She's into it. looks, the courtiers <laughs> cried. How perfectly everything fits. Such a pattern, magnificent colors, truly imperial. These are indeed royal robes. We have seen the true royalty. Canopy which is to I... be born over your majesty in today's Oh my god, that 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 that's me. That's me. Look at that pose. That's me. Ceremonies most ceremonies. That's me. Good pose. Well, I am quite ready, said the emperor. Do my new clothes not suit me handsomely? <laughs> then he turned once more to the mirror, pretending to admire his magnificent garments. The imperial ministers who were to carry the long train of the emperor's cloak both stooped over and appeared to lift something up from the floor. <laughs> Suckers. They walked These guys behind suck. The emperor, holding their hands in the air stiffly, as though they were actually carrying the train of the royal mantle. Here we go, the moment of all truth. All right. This is what we've all been, been building up toward. All right, you freaks. Here you go. You mean fashionistas. That's Not true. freaks, fashionistas. Fashionistas. We come here for high art, high fashion, high literature. This build-up is really good. Yeah. Oh, all these characters are copy-pasted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's the Van Nut touch right there. He had to do a lot of paintings for this. I don't. I don't no, know. I was gonna say there's a lot of this is very well done art. So, I've discovered yeah. the clone tool. <laughs> Content aware, matching. <laughs> the magic lasso. Uh, this Other is Photoshop a... things. <laughs> when the emperor appeared in the procession under the ceremonial canopy, it's about to become a hentai game. Streets and all those watching from their windows exclaimed. Oh, the Emperor's new clothes are the most beautiful garments ever seen. What an exquisite train that is to the cloak. How graceful the I love that one woman in the corner whose eyes are like, excuse me. Yeah, she sees through it. She's like, oh, man. Short, no one would admit that he could not see these much of mine. Someone stepped up to our, 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 our door outside the second you said this is going to turn into a hentai game. <laughs> Jeff, you can go home. We're fine. Also, you don't work at Amazon anymore. Go away. There's our man. Never before had the Emperor's clothes met with such unanimous approval. I like the strategically placed heads. Thank you. Uh, it's very night. tasteful. I just kind of assumed it was, so it's it's lucky that it turned out that way. I'm glad <laughs> for all of us. I'm glad Some that the children's the story is not hardcore pornography. Out, but the Emperor has no clothes on. Hear what the innocent one said, exclaimed the child's father. And what the child had said was whispered from one to another through the crowd. He has nothing on. The emperor has no clothes on. 
but he has nothing on at all, cried all the people at last. <laughs> Is that the town drunkard? Yeah. He naked. And the emperor cringed. <laughs> Cringe! They knew that what they said was emperor cringe compilation. <laughs> The procession must on. continue all the same, he thought to himself. And Keep he talking about the nude king. And held himself more stiffly and more imperially <laughs> than ever before. Wonderful. Thank you, Kate Lipsy. 100 bits. In the honor of Jeff's departure from Amazon's lead role, Twitch has decided to rename Bits as Jeff Pennies. Thank you. On to the imaginary <laughs> as he holds himself stiffly, <laughs> huh? Stiffly. Hi. <laughs> the oh, so end! Hard. That's the end? The end ends with the Emperor getting stiff? <laughs> <laughs> oh, everyone in chat is saying things. I remember a version of this where at the end the Emperor was like, Oh, thank you, small child. You, with your innocence, you were the only one to tell me the truth. Nope, no lesson nope. here. Nothing learned. Nothing, uh, nothing to grow from. It was just a naked man running through town, convinced that he was right to do so, and the rogues who fooled him. They got away with it. Just like the Retro Pals get away with streaming every week. Thank you for the crying Luigi! Because <laughs> that's how it just ends! It just ends with his dick out! Yeah. Well, I mean, where do you go from there? 100 bits from Muir who says the Emperor's new exhibition is finished. It's I'm done. I, I don't care if I can't pronounce it. Yeah, yeah, his dick out. Thanks to Robert Van Nutt. Thanks to Mark Sotnik. Thanks Nutt to everyone miss. who made this possible. Thank you, everyone at Rabbit Ears Productions. Well, what did we learn from this? Uh, the original story <laughs> was, uh, I guess, to tell you that you could just pull the wool over anyone's eyes, even if they're the king. And in the end, you could be exposed by uh, just someone willing to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. But that element was missing from this, so we didn't learn shit. I love that we didn't learn shit. All that we learned was that rich people, if you tell them that they're wrong, they will uh, dig their heels in, which is kind of the truth. Each <laughs> will let you play a different game. <laughs> Star over a picture and press a button. The game will begin. The game! Let's play the game. This is just what you're what right. What emperor love to do most? Stroll through the Imperial Gardens, try on new clothes, or ride the Imperial Stallion. He definitely liked to try on clothes. Oh, yeah. Yes. The Emperor was hopelessly in love with beautiful new clothes. Oh, I was hoping this would be a dress-up game. That would be cool. If you could be in the Grand Festival Parade, what would you like to do? Carry a flag? Beat a drum? Play the flute? Is this a... Is there a correct answer here? Can I choose wrong? I'll I... bang the drums. A wonderful choice. Oh, thank you. That would be very, very stupendous. Uh, that would be very stupid. Extremely so. Everyone has a front and a back. In which picture are we looking at the front of His Imperial Majesty? I think we're outside this game's age range. You think? Absolutely correct. This is definitely the front of the emperor. That's the front. Two people are playing the same instrument. One is playing something different. Choose the person who is playing a different instrument. This one. Good show. Danny, you're a brain genius. Three for three. Here are three pictures of the Emperor. Which one is exactly the same as the picture in the blue box? Oh, 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 okay. I'm good at these. Um, this one. That yes. wasn't hard. The Emperor would be pleased that you answered correctly. Well, maybe I don't give a fuck what the Emperor thinks. Yeah, fuck the Emperor. Look carefully at these pictures. Try okay, to worth it. Y'all. <laughs> Which one are you? Now, look at these pictures. Which one was not in the group of pictures that you just looked at? <laughs> Definitely the rogue smoking opium. Yes, it was I love the him. other rogue, not this one. I'll never forget that face. Which picture of the emperor fits into the empty space? Co 
correct. What Damn, I'm nailing it. This? I'm on fire today. Mm -hmm. Choose a box to see what's inside. Then choose another box to try to find its match. Oh, presents. This one. The goat. Oh shit! You found goat. Try again. Goat. Bam. Right. Speed nice. run. That is a world recce. Good recce, honey. You can play this game over and over again. Just choose a box. Can I? Try again. Try again. Try again. Try again. You got this. I love that drum guy. Apparently this game does too. Games. Wizard section. With with wizard section wizard section honey oh that's what you mean by wizard section still think that beard's kind of pathetic Parents let's send him notes. let's send him some email <laughs> <laughs> cdi at aol.com oh this Features is how you unlock uncensored mode background information on the story and discover new activities you can do what story with background Oh, it's the actual story. Instead of the bastardized C CDI adaptation. Yeah, that's what well, I heard. The fabric of his painful... Oh. Man. Damn. <laughs> Sounds like one sad sack, this guy. The story I heard about Hans Christian Andersen is... There was this one teacher he hated who always always was like, you can't write for shit. You're never going to amount to anything. You should just give up, Hans Christian Andersen. Anyway, he became famous, and he discovered that teacher destitute on the street many years later, homeless, begging, and he took pity on him, and he said, fuck you, and then he walked away. <laughs> Holy shit! That may, not be, that may not be word for word, that story, but yes, he spurned his uh, out-of-work homeless teacher afterwards and that was presented as like see if you succeed you can tell us to fuck off too holy shit is what the teachers essentially said anyway they speak to the mind and hearts of young and old alike okay if you want to tell your teacher to fuck off one day listen to the words of hans Skip christian anderson notes. Activities. wizard section well i wanted to see if there was more games but they're kind of disappointing Game. in fact I think that last game was the only game, and it didn't give me an option to skip forward. You know, the tile matching one. So I think we're gonna have to say goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. There we go. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the disc. Here are the names of some other titles. I oh, we've played one of those. Uh huh. Ugh. Sorry, I'm easily startled. By wizards, of all things. All these geniuses brought this product to life 30 years ago. Yeah, we did play Pecos Bill. Okay, so we've... we've yeah, done... we did. Okay. I so... thought we played uh, Brer Rabbit as well. We did. Okay. So we've basically done all of them. Wizard voice. Yes. Phil Doctor. Wizard producer, comma, director. There is not a better... There's not a better credit. <laughs> That's so good. Except for wizard character design. Oh, yeah, Pecos Bill was the Robin Williams game. Okay, I mm -hmm. remember that now. Yeah. It is illegal to make unauthorized copies of this software. $50,000 and jail terms up to five years. You're all complicit. <laughs>